Welcome to my average morning routine as someone who's trying to become a morning person and stay productive. Yes, I'm still obsessed with drinking cucumber water every morning. It is so refreshing and I still need to try lemon water. Comment what one you guys prefer. So every morning I try and write my journal, but recently my obsession is my five minute journal. I've been writing it every single day and I would really recommend it. I'm actually obsessed. It just like helps me collect my thoughts and it talks a lot about gratitude and appreciation. Good morning, look how crazy my hair is. I really need to fake tan. So I moved all my makeup stuff to my desk because I wanted to do more makeup at my desk because I'm kind of tired of doing it on the floor. So here we are with desk POV and we need to start this hair because what is going on? I don't think I have enough time to curl it. So I'm just gonna straighten it. I much prefer the days where I wake up that little bit earlier so I have time to relax when I'm doing my hair and makeup like it's the worst feeling when you're in a rough but how are you guys today comment down below how you guys are I'm doing quite well actually so this is my first day back at college after like two and a half weeks of being off so I'm kind of I kind of don't want to go in also I just want to thank you guys again for the absolutely insane growth that I've had on this channel I appreciate it so much and I'm sending you guys so so much love so if you're watching this I'm sending you all my love Okay, I finally sorted out my hair. It's just quite basic and I love it. And now I'm gonna do my makeup. Okay, this segment is filmed a day after. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know exactly why. That's an excuse to follow my Instagram. I keep you guys updated with everything. So I am going to tell you some habits to become a morning person. Coming from someone who was never a morning person, even though I'm not 100% a morning person, like these are definitely habits that have helped me and hopefully will help you. Before we get started, guys, this is a collab with Daphne. I'm absolutely in love with their videos, so please go subscribe. Okay, the first one that is definitely easier said than done is basically just get up. If you think about this in like mind over matter, that 10 minute snooze button will not benefit you whatsoever. What has helped me is set like gradual alarms. So I, if I wanna get up at seven, I'll set one at six, half six, quarter to seven, you know what I mean? Just so it feels like a snooze button and it feels like I'm sleeping in, but I'm not. Something that actually helped me last year was as soon as I woke up, literally like people in Love Island, I would put on sunglasses just so the natural light wouldn't hurt my eyes that bad but then once you're out of bed you're fine it's the hardest step of the day the next one that's helped me so much is to make a to-do list or like plan the night before everything you're going to do because then i feel like you have a reason to get up and just for later that day i wouldn't get up for the whole day and i would just lie in bed all morning but if you did have something planned like later that day make some plans for the morning it doesn't have to be a lot but even if it's just like oh make breakfast or like wash my hair like it actually gives you a reason to get out of bed the next one i'm very very guilty of not doing but it's making your bed as soon as you get out of it if you do that then there is less temptation to get back into your bed because it's already made so don't worry guys i'm still working on these habits myself like becoming a morning person is so much harder than it appears to be so this one i've already said in my video and i'm gonna say it again because it really really helps me in the morning and it is writing in a journal it could literally be any journal you could even write the prompts of like a five minute journal or gratitude journal in a normal journal because i know that the original five minute journal was quite pricey i think and so i did get an alternative from the works for like four pounds so in the description like it literally is my favorite thing to do in the morning i'm obsessed so obviously this is hard for people who don't really have much time in the morning ex like including me but something that makes me enjoy getting up in the morning is the thought of having like an aesthetically pleasing breakfast like anything from pinterest as you guys know i'm obsessed with so make a cute little breakfast and kind of similar to that but i would rather get up earlier than leaving it to the last minute leaving me anxious and stressed for the morning like i would rather have a much relaxing morning routine again i've already done this today but guys drink your lemon water drink your cucumber water make some matcha they all have really really good health benefits and when i tell you i am so refreshed once i drink my cucumber water i'm actually obsessed with it it makes me more motivated this is probably my least favorite but it's go to bed earlier i naturally can't go to bed that early but i'm trying and this has helped me but sometimes it kind of doesn't work 
but waking up at the same time every single day will get you into that routine and you'll naturally wake up that earlier that did work for me for quite a long time but now i'm kind of out of the routine so i think i should get back into that okay the last one which definitely is a cliche here but guys when i record tiktoks or youtube videos i am at my most productive like i try and keep it as productive as i can like but when i'm filming a video it just makes me more productive so even if you don't like have a youtube channel or a tiktok even if you just pretend honestly it is when i'm most productive even if you don't post it even if you don't edit it even if you don't record it you could literally just pretend but trust me imagining or recording yourself for a youtube video changes the game changes the game if you guys have seen my previous videos you know that i'm very into like healthy habits at the moment and creating a good mindset so let me know if you guys have any more So I usually don't eat breakfast before college just because it makes me feel quite sick. But I am gonna make myself like a little pack lunch and I'm just gonna add the stuff that I would eat for breakfast just in my bag because I'll probably get hungry like an hour later or something. We don't do any writing at my college because it's all like on the computer as I do film so we literally don't need to bring like in any textbooks or notebooks so I literally pack nothing in my bag. I will be packing this however as it smells so good. I think I'm really late to college. So I'm just gonna wear this cropped zip hoodie, just an extra layer so I don't get cold and I'm also gonna wear my pandas of course because I literally wear them every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wish me luck going to college, I really don't want to go.